Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 44. This week I'm going to be talking about high speed LED flashes. Now, my regular viewers are going to know that when I say high speed, I mean really high speed. I'm not talking about your standard speed light type flash, which might have a duration of around one thirty thousandth of a second. I'm talking about high speed like this. This is an air gap flash that I made, and it has a duration of around one two millionth of a second, which is much, much faster than your standard speed light flash. And this is the kind of flash that people typically use to photograph bullets in flight and avoid blurring in those kinds of shots. There are some big disadvantages to a flash like this though. Uh, one of them is that the big capacitor in here, it operates at 20,000 volts. Now that's absolutely lethal. Another downside is that there's not very many places that sell this type of a flash and the one that I did find and asked them about, the uh, flash was a little over $4,000. So people are always looking for a safer uh, or cheaper alternative to air gap flashes, which are the standard in uh, high speed flash photography. The idea I keep hearing about on my forums and around the web is a high speed LED flash. Now on the surface, that sounds like it might be a good idea to some people. You know, uh, LEDs operate at very low voltages, you know, typically under five volts, and uh, they can be pulsed on and off quite quickly. So we're gonna look into uh, whether high speed LED flashes could be an alternative to the air gap flash. Now, what air gap flashes are really good at is producing huge amounts of light in a very short duration. So we wanna look at LEDs and see if they're able to produce a similar amount of light in that short of a duration. So the first thing to do is to compare amount of light from an air gap flash. And I looked up in a book from Edgington called Electronic Flash and Strobe and they said that the EG and G 549 flash, which is sort of the first uh, air gap flash on the market, they've discontinued it now, but it was there for a long time. It made uh, five times 10 to the uh, sixth power uh, candle power and if you look up in Wikipedia how many uh, candle power are in uh, one lumen it's one candle power equals 0 0.981 lumens and uh, that means that we've got about 4.9 times 10 to the sixth lumens in an air gap flash. So now the question is, how many lumens can an LED emit? Now I looked up uh, on the forums, a person selected just sort of your typical high power LED. They said that uh, at one, the spec, the, the data sheet for this uh, high powered LED was at 1.75 amps. It uh, produced 500 lumens. Now, the thing about LEDs is that you can overdrive them. If you send a, a really high burst of current for a very short pulse of time, you'll uh, be able to make the LED brighter and it won't burn the LED out. So uh, one of the people on my forums pointed to an article called uh, Pulse Operation of High Power LEDs for Image Flow Velometry uh, by C. Willert in uh, 2010. And he did you know a bunch of experiments with 
uh, different LEDs, but uh, found the exact data we were kind of uh, looking for. And he found that you can, uh, at least on some LEDs, you can run them at 20x their rated current, which for this LED is 1.75 amps, and it'll make it significantly brighter. Now, it won't make it 20 times brighter, but just for this comparison, we're going to say that it does make it 20 times. So we're uh, giving the LED the benefit of the doubt here and saying that 20x the current through this LED will give it 20 times the brightness. Um, there are also some other problems pointed out in this article, uh, such as, you know, if you try to pulse these LEDs for half a microsecond, they die instantly. I'm just going to ignore that and hope that we can find an LED that wouldn't show that problem. So let's just say that uh, it's running at 20x the current and uh, that's going to produce 20x the lumens. So we're talking about 10,000 lumens per LED. So if we take uh, four, the 4.9 times 10 to the sixth lumens from the air gap flash, and we divide that by 10k lumens, we're going to get 4 90 and that would be the number of LEDs that we would need to produce the same amount of light as the air gap flash if the LEDs can be overdriven at 20x. So if you take the 1.75 amps you multiply it by the 20x increase in current and then you multiply it by the 490 LEDs you're going to end up with a little over 17,000 amps. Now here's one of your problems. That's a whole lot of current that you're going to be needing to drive into these LEDs. Another problem is that um, you're going to have to have an awful lot of complicated circuitry in order to um, provide that 17,000 amps. You need really fine control over your some kind of high-powered transistors to uh, switch on and off 17,000 amps for a microsecond. All of those capacitors and, and uh, high power transistors, high current transistors, going to be expensive. Um, I didn't calculate how much that's going to be, but just for the 490 LEDs, um, the uh, price per LED is thirteen dollars and eighty seven cents so that's going to be six thousand seven hundred ninety six dollars just for the LEDs now like I said there's a lot of other really expensive components so this isn't looking like it's going to be any cheaper than the air gap flash. It's looking like it's going to be more expensive, at least with these calculations. Now, maybe people can find a little bit better LEDs, um, but again, once you include the capacitors, I just don't see how it's going to end up under this price. Um, I also think that uh, designing a circuit <laughs> that could do this kind of uh, current for a microsecond is going to be quite difficult. Now there are tricks you could play, such as uh, putting a little bit higher voltage in here, uh, but uh, putting some of the LEDs in series and that that it allow you to reduce the current some. Um, but I just I just still don't see the LED solution making sense. Now I'm always willing to be proven wrong, so if somebody comes up with a solution that that does work. Um, show it to me and I'd be impressed. I mean, I'm sure that if you were willing, to, instead of to go for a really high speed flash like uh, this microsecond, if you're willing to go 
with, uh, uh, let's say, a ten thousandth of a second, which is, you know, around what a regular flash is, then we'd be talking about only four or five LEDs, and that's much more practical, but it's a hundred times slower than the air gap flash. And it's not any better than a Xeon uh, speed light flash, so I don't really see uh, the advantage there unless you wanted to trigger the flash a whole bunch of times. Then, then maybe um, a, a slower LED flash would, would make sense, but if you're trying to do really high-speed photography, uh, the the LED flash just isn't making sense to me right now. Um, there is uh, there is an advantage to the LED flash though. Uh, if you take the number of amps and you multiply by the four volts needed per LED, you come up with uh, about 68 watts. Um, now that compares to the 6 million watts for uh, the air gap flash, so you're talking about something that's approximately a hundred times more efficient, which is a little surprising to me, but the air gap flash is uh, creating ozone, it, it's doing, you know, stuff at the molecular level, I'm sure it's uh, using a lot of energy there, so it's not completely out of the question, but if anybody finds a problem with this calculation, I'm a little suspect of why the efficiencies come out so drastically different, but that's, that's what I'm seeing. And I, I would like to thank Alan, Alan Saylor. He uh, posted pretty much all of the information that I've, I've shared with you today in various posts on the forum. And uh, pretty much all I did was double check his numbers. And a few of them I differed with. He's feel, feel free to reply, Alan, if you uh, find any mistakes in uh, the calculations I've done since they did come out a little bit different than yours. Other than that, I'll post a lot of links to all of the backup information and, and articles I used to compile this, and along with the data sheet for the LED that uh, I used in this comparison, so, so people can double-check my numbers if they want. And, you know, please leave a comment if you see any errors in this or uh, want to add your own comments or additional information. And, you know, I'd love to be proved wrong. I'd love to see somebody come out with a uh, high-speed LED flash. I'm sure it's possible. I, it just doesn't seem very practical, at least from the calculations I've, I've done here. Thanks for watching.